Welcome back. We are doing another tr packet tracer exercise. Specifically, we're doing configure SSH packet tracer 1.3.6. Over here, we have our instructions in that uh, SSH should replace Telnet for management connections. So let's jump right into it. We're going to be starting off by jumping in and telnetting into 10.10.10.2. We know that the password is Cisco. All right, we are into our switch. And we can enable here. We're going to do Cisco again. All right, now it says save the current configuration so we can save anything in case we need to uh, go back to original parts so we'll hit copy run start enter enter and we are good now all right now it says service password encryption Oh, yes, we have to actually go into our configure terminal mode. Uh, and it, now we're going to go in service password encryption. And we're going to see that our passwords are now encrypted. going to take a look at, let's see here. Password here, it used to be Cisco. And now it is encrypted to uh, its encrypted format. So now let us, we have verified that our passwords are encrypted based upon the service password encryption. Now it says that we have to go in and prevent us from using Telnet. So how do we do that? Well, first it tells us to configure the domain name to be netacat.pka. And we do that here by IP domain name and now netacat.pka. All right. Now, with our instructions, we are told to generate secure keys to encrypt the data. Generate the RSAK keys using a twin 24 key length. So, with that, we are going to do our crypto key generate RSA. It tells us how many bits in modulus, and the answer that they wanted us to do was in 1024. All right. Now our keys have been generated. Now it tells us that we want to create a SSH user, reconfigure the V12 lines for SSH only access. All right, so how do we do that? Well, username, administrator, and then secret Cisco. All right, that tells us we've been enabled. But now we have to actually alter the um, V12 lines. So line 15, and this one isn't so um, explicit. So it tells us that we want to get rid of all of this other stuff. Uh, so we will have to first start by new and no logon, uh, no password. Cisco um, because it tells us that only allow for SSH uh, for remote access to remove the existing v uh, V2 line password which is Cisco now we got rid of that now we can go back in and we are going to transport and put SSH login local and exit and we can see here that we're at 100 percent completion so thank you for joining 
and make sure to check out my other videos. Truly appreciate your time.